You wanna see something crazy? Snickers through that WrestleMania. Hello all, um, and welcome to this. Break the Walls 10 back here with another video. Just kidding, it's me, man, Mark Murph. Um, this is a video that I've honestly... Um, hold on, wait a second. Um... This is a video, I actually do a lot of research. I've never done research and almost like, yeah, it'll be five years next month um, that I'll be done you YouTube. I started shortly after WrestleMania 29. Um, go back and check that video out, like wrestling related stuff. I had the channel started, I uploaded some other stuff like before, but wrestling, I remember showing up my collection, they did a raw review, I think they both got like 20 views combined, I don't know, but I've come a long way. Um, but anyway, um, I had to do a lot of research about this and before I get into the subject of research, this is probably going to be a long video, so sit back and relax and enjoy the show, folks. Um, I did a lot of research in this video. I watched uh, video research. I watched many people do this. I watched uh, Ravi, Saw Battery 77, CB Reach, Freaking I 88, Miguel, uh, all the guys. Um, Anwar Thinks, uh, KPNDC, which by the way, does a great tips video. Um, so, yeah, that kind of gave it away. I'm doing a first ever, I never thought I'd be able to do this, but I'm doing a WrestleMania tips video. Yeah, basically, in the this will be my fourth mania, and I'm basically learning. I can't say much from the first time I went because the first time I went, I only went Monday. I went Friday to Monday. I didn't do access. I just literally did Hall of Fame WrestleMania. I didn't really learn much. Um, but the only lesson I did learn from there, I'm not gonna do like a countdown like ten to one. There was one video that I did see that was like that, and I was just like not impressed at all because also the person didn't like really do much thinking into it. Not gonna name names, call me below, but yeah, if you figure it out, you figure it out. Um, but yeah, basically the first tip that I got at 28, which actually, which was around this time, this, this is a professional video, I got this in 2011, um, was don't buy merch at Mania. That's my one advice. I remember, because I remember I got this hoodie and then I got this with the Rise Above Hate t-shirt for Christmas along with my WrestleMania tickets. They were a Christmas gift. Um, the one takeaway I had from that experience was I remember I wore my I wore this black shirt mania everything I was hyped I'm like let's go Cena all this stuff and I was like I don't know why but I was in a weird feeling he was gonna get a new shirt it was like I think six months or so when this work the rise about hatred came out and then the green one was there and I saw it and I'm like I walk in I'm like oh that's a new Cena shirt isn't it shit so basically I remember every merchandise stand in Sun Life Stadium or Hard Rock we don't want to call it now was sold out completely. Luckily, there was one underneath because I I was lucky enough to get on. I was lucky enough to have four seats. It was the very last row of the floor. I didn't care. I had the time of my life. It's your first WrestleMania. You always remember it. But I had to go. There's like just because of this one specialty stand. I don't think I would have gotten that shirt until I eventually did shop like shop orders. Um, but yeah, no. So that's the one tip of advice. Also, it's just a pain in the ass to carry around. Honestly, with merch, nice mania. Literally, the one gold mania for me. Walk in empty handed, leave empty handed. Worst case scenario, maybe I have a cup or hey, like 32, where myself, the Boston brothers, Matt Lorenzo, and Phil, we all had Kickstarters and free stink posters. Um, yeah, like stuff like that. But like, if you walk out with a cup, honestly, and that's the other tip of advice. If you want to get the cup, buy it at the superstore. Don't buy it at Mania. If you, unless you want to drink, like a water, like I put water in mine last year because I don't drink soda, pop, soda, whatever you want to call it. Um, I didn't drink that. I don't really drink pop much anymore. So, um, I, I put, I got water in it, but I didn't really feel like it was worth it. So I'm just going to, going into this year's in about four, about a month, I'm going to buy it at the Superstore. Yeah. Which actually leads into my next tip, which is the Superstore. You are going to walk, for, if this is a first time watching this, if you've never been to WrestleMania before, if you're planning your first trip ever, like I, I was, I was thinking to myself today, if I could just help one person out with some tips and tricks... I feel like I've accomplished something. Simple as that. If I can help one of you guys out on here by giving you some advice from what I've been passed, what's been passed down to me, what I've learned from other people's videos, what I've learned from friends on how to navigate, how to survive. Um, I can't give any New Orleans tips because unfortunately I haven't been to the city. And honestly, I just don't know much about the city of New Orleans apart from what my parents have told me and what other people told me because my parents have been there before and people who went to 30. But yes, back to the Superstore. 
you're going to walk in there, your eyes are going to just open up. Like, you're like, oh my god, look at all this stuff. Like, you walk in, you see shirts, you see WrestleMania exclusive merch, you see the titles. The other side of the titles, you have the thing with the the gimmick shit, like I, the John Cena thing that I got signed. You have stuff that's like more and more money. You got a lot of stuff. You've got like exclusive, like ridiculously priced stuff. Like I remember there were signed Brock Lesnar tickets. I have no idea what they're going for. Signed turnbuckles by like rosters, like Cena, Roman Reigns, um, pieces of the ring, like ring rope from like Mania Past. Um, that weird thing that has like every a pin from Mania's one. I'll probably open until thirty three this year, which will thirty three, and then the middle Smack thirty four. Um, there's just so much stuff inside that store. Your head's gonna spin. You're gonna want to spend your money, and money comes into it later. But when you walk into the superstore, be realistic on what you spend. I, I'm not afraid to admit I've dropped over a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars, both times I've been in there. I dropped two hundred sixty. 262 uh, years ago, 175 this year, and I'm looking to do more of the same this year. But why? Because I financially managed myself to where, hey, I can afford to do that. You don't want to go there and then you're like, oh, oh crap, I don't like, I, why did I spend, like, you know, like some people can walk out of there. Like, I know people who spend $200 walking out of there, like, oh, why did I spend that much money? People who spent like $100 more content, you get people who are spending, like, I, I remember hearing people saying, I'm ready to drop a thousand dollars. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. No, thank you. Um, basically, I just go for the go-tos, like the I Was There shirt, the card, uh, program, cup, those are my big four that I always like to get. This year, I'm probably looking into more getting more of the exclusive, like, match t-shirts, like, um, one I really regret not getting from 32 with the, the Undertaker logo and the money symbol, the Shane Taker shirt, I got the Brock Lesnar D. Ambrose one, I'm um, hoping to get some of that stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm seeing appear up on shop right now, I'm looking to get, like the hoodie, um, not the, the jersey gimmicks, honestly, not really. That's more of a seat. You, like, even with the jersey, people are like, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. With the jerseys, it's one of those things. Don't rush the gun on buying it. I My advice to you, with any merchandise, I need this to pop it up on shop. Wait until you get to the Superstore to decide what you're going to buy. Um, and also, apart from the Superstore, you're going to have merchandise you can buy at Smoothie King Center. You're going to have stuff you can buy at the Superdome if you want. I don't do it. You can buy it if you want to. Uh, you have stuff you, they have trailers, of mer they have the trailer merch, the merch trailer, the gimmick trailer, outside the convention center. They have, if you're in a package hotel, they're going to have merchandise stands in the hotel. Last year, I'm walking through the hotel, I'm like, what the, I'm like, oh my god, oh boy. Every time like, I walk by, I'm like, oh my, how are you doing? Um, yeah, like, you're just, so basically my tip is, go crazy, buy what you want, just make sure at the end of the day, you don't regret your purchases. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't be like, oh, why did I spend ninety dollars on this? Be like, yeah, I spent ninety dollars. So I spent ninety dollars on one item. I spent it on three t-shirts. Simple as that. Which I'm just gonna get into the money thing right away. Honestly, um, save. That's all I gotta say. I always take a minimum of seven hundred dollars cash. Or actually, uh, I'm gonna keep that quiet secret. I like. I took that a few years ago. Thirty-two. I did. I believe it took somewhere around that range. I say. This is more for the tips if you're from, like, me from Canada or if you're from around the world. Like, around the world, meaning you don't live in the uh, 50 United States. So I keep drinking water. I just have a bit of a cough going on right now. Um, basically, with the money thing, just make sure you bring cash. Because, honestly, with the dollar rate, with a credit card, well, more or less if you're Canadian because the dollar sucks, try to bring cash. I, like, don't do your Superstore purchase. That was one thing I regretted. 33, I used my credit card for it, which I wasn't really happy with. 32, I used cash. I was fine. So, pretty much, if you can use cash at the Superstore, basically, I like to save, bring as much money as you can so you can use cash for your bigger purchases and use your credit card for little things like getting food. Say if you guys do a McDonald's run, if you go somewhere, if you go to the Central Grocers in the um, French Quarter and get yourself a Mufalata sandwich. That's the other thing about New Orleans. I cannot wait for the food. Oh my god, I cannot I cannot stress that enough. I'll explain more later on in the coming weeks once the rundown comes out and other stuff because we're still working on shit. Um, but yeah, basically, just save your money. Uh, save your money. Have a good time. And also, if you're going, if you're going to the friends, man, you can go to all like these fancy restaurants. No, honestly, you can get a quick McDonald's in. You can get a quick pizza in. Quick food. Go 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 go. My next tip is. Um, actually, I don't even know if it's a tip. I've seen people saying, 
like sleep and stuff. Like, oh yeah, you're not getting a lot of sleep. It's true. You're not. Minimum I think I can get with on like a day where you're not resting is probably five hours. Like a max, like five, six hours. Why? Because it's, yeah, just, just leave it at that. Like sleep, go with what you're comfortable with, honestly. Like if you want to be one of those people that, yeah, you're up till four o'clock in the morning and you're back up at seven, I personally can't do that. I'm, I'm not that kind of person. I will not be able to function properly. Um, but yes. Uh, it's just my little thing on sleep. Next thing up is basically your schedule for the week, which also involves sleep and money in a way. Basically, it's always good to have a schedule. Like on my phone, I have like, it's just in the notes. Even if you just do it on your phone, you can write down again on Wednesday. I got written down what I'm doing Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, like what I'm doing Saturday, Sunday, obviously mania plus some other stuff, Monday, and then Tuesday, boom, I go home. Um, pretty much what you got to do with scheduling everything. Because you're going to be like, oh, I want to go this, 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 this. Or let's get a little bit more in-depth detail. Oh, I want to go to Evolve. I want to go to WrestleMania Access. I want to go to the WrestleCon Super Show. And then, like, the next day, I want to go to WrestleCon. I want to go to Access. I want to go to Hall of Fame. I want to go to Joey Janela's Spring Break. Um, I want to go to, like, I want to go to Pro like, all this stuff. It's like, hold up. Stop. Before you get ahead of yourself and buy all these tickets and waste all this money, look at it realistically. Like, say Thursday night, WrestleCon Super Show. It starts at 9.30 at night in New Orleans time. Access runs from 6 to 10. If you can do it, just remember, get out of Access by, I say, 9 o'clock so you can walk from the convention center over to the Sugar Mill to enjoy the show. Um, or even, like, say, for example, the Midnight Shows, like the Beyond Wrestling's, the Joey Janela's, I'm pretty sure Kaiju. They're all in the same building. Um, it's in a town, I think Kenner, it's by the airport. Um, plan for it. Like, if you're going to do a WrestleCon Super Show and then go to Beyond Wrestling... WrestleCon goes from about 9.30, probably to about midnight, 12.30. Beyond starts at 11.55 p.m. You're going to have to leave, you're going to have to leave Connor, you're going to have to leave WrestleCon super short early. This is like last year. We had NXT take over Orlando, Matt, Alex, and I. But we also took it to Beyond Wrestling. Matt and I weren't really on the festival going because we were just exhausted because we did the two access sessions, Saturday and then takeover. We were just like, yeah, let's just tap out, get ready for the night. Even Alex eventually, Alex, I know, really wanted to go. And I felt bad for him because he really wanted to go to the show we, the, the traffic getting out of the Amway Center was bad. Um, that's the one thing about New Orleans looking forward to this year. We're going to be able to walk everywhere. No driving. Only Ubers I expect to take are from, like, to and from the airport. Um, and maybe, like, if I, like, I don't know, Bourbon Street, because I don't want my drunk ass walking around New Orleans. Um, but pretty much we got back into the, uh, we got, by the time we got back to the hotel, he already had missed a bit of, about a third of the show, and he was like, oh, whatever. And then eventually they filmed me sleeping, so I think that kind of made up for it. Yeah. Um, the next one, and I'm pretty sure the last one, I'm gonna, if I can think of anything else, I will let you know, is access. <sighs> access, access, access. Also, actually, we know um, access, I'm going to save best for last because I just remembered WrestleCon. WrestleCon's a fun one. Why? Because with WrestleCon, you have a lot of stuff going on. You've got so many people you want to meet, but it's not like access. WrestleCon, you go in, you got to pay per wrestler. So it's like, oh, look, I, like last year, I'm like, I want to meet Wade Barrett. Boom, 40 bucks gone. Boom, I want to meet Ryback. Autograph, photo combo, 40 bucks. 80 bucks was gone in like five minutes. Um, I want to meet you. And it's like, I want to meet you, 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 you. It's like the same thing as a superstar. It's like, hold up, stop. Buy with what you mean because the longest lineup at WrestleCon isn't for a wrestler. It's not to get in. It's for the fucking ATM. And the one last year, the hotel in Orlando broke. So if it sucks for you, you have to walk like a mile down to get to the other one and then walk back in. I fell victim to this at 32. I'm not afraid to admit it. But this year, I'm going in basically with WrestleCon. I'm not the kind of guy where I'm like, I don't need to meet all like these like random legends and stuff. Like if I see Tony Atlas... Last year, it's like, hey, want to meet Rocky Johnson? I'm like, I'm like, nah, I mean, I don't. It's not like I don't, I don't like you, don't know much about you. I also don't have anything for you to sign. I don't want like a random eight by ten. Um, yeah, but for the most part, um, with WrestleCon, even like you got to learn about your legends and stuff, because it's not like access where you pay and you're in. WrestleCon, you got to pay and then you got paid up. So yeah, that's the thing with WrestleCon, you got to be careful of. But they are selling a three day pass, seventy nine bucks, which I'm, I'm probably gonna be end up buying. Because I probably am going to go all three days this year. Because, well, Sunday, you already know. Go check the So Cold video out. And fr I always go. I, the, the last two years, I've always done Friday. So, might as well do Friday. Because what else am I going to do on Friday? And I already got it penciled in. See, another thing goes back to the notes. So, I already know. 
Friday is WrestleCon Day. I'm smarter than you look. Um, yeah, so WrestleCon, boom. Uh, but the money stuff with the uh, and the back of the money stuff for a second the with the food and stuff just basically spend within your limits people, and then now let's end on a sour note. I I, I can't go into attractions on a sour note. My bad. Um, I can't go too much into attractions because there's nothing. I don't really know much of attractions to do in the Greater New Orleans area. Um, I just know pretty much walking around exploring the city, finding sites. And hey, if you want to go try your luck at Hera, um, Phil, Nightmare 10, and I will be signing at the Blackjack table with Mike Kyoto uh, Friday night at uh, 9.30. So yeah, come meet us at Hera's Casino. That's Nightmare 10 and I. Check us out. Um, yeah, we have the Click 34 table. Um, but no, the last thing, last but not least, is WrestleMania access. I've heard people say it can either be the worst thing or there. I've heard people say, oh, for the Saturday afternoon session, we're going to war. We're ready. We're going to go. Because a lot of people's access perceptions were taken from 32 as it is a circus. And honestly, WrestleMania 32 was a circus. I met, I met Paige, I met Baron Corbin, I met Rusev, I met Paul Heyman, I met Blake, Murphy, Bliss. I met Austin Aries and I met Sasha Banks. I met nine people. Last year, I did nine people in one session. Because this is where having a VIP comes in the hand. Some people now, you'll think... And also because I saw the most rookie move pulled by someone for this year's event. Who bought a Saturday night session thinking you can go in at 8. It does not work like that. If you buy for your session for GA, that's the session you have. If you buy a Saturday morning and expect, hey, I'm going to be able to get back on the Saturday afternoon. Uh-uh-uh, no siree. Oh, you bought a Thursday but you want to come back Friday? No, 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 no. It don't work like that. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, and also if you do have, I've seen people ask this before, oh, if I have a VIP, do I need a GA? If you're really asking that question, you gotta evaluate yourself, because honestly, you don't need it. VIP is great, because you get to meet your person, like me. I'm meeting Goldberg, I'm meeting Nakamura, and I'm meeting Bliss, Alexa Bliss. Um, Finn Balor may or not be happening, or also I might be doing some other ones as well. Because that's even the other thing with access. You have all these people buying VIP tickets, and then it's like all these people are like, oh no, they're all sold out, da, 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 da. Some of them will drop, like, Almas, Almas, Moon, Vega, Asuka, and Dean are all still on Ticketmaster, which I'm, if I can find a cheap NXT one, I'll pick it up. Like last year, people were buying Randy Orton ones for 50 bucks, 80 bucks, day of. Like, I saw that, I was like, oh my god. Um, Yeah. But, like, with access to, it's one of those things where the VIPs, I've heard people say, you get in 15 minutes early. No, you do not. You don't even know when you get in for access. Like, they, there's not a time posted. They, you basically, last year was weird. You heard, like, a thunder, like, oh, some weird, like, boom, boom sound. And it's like, oh, we're like, oh, what the fuck? And then you hear AJ's theme, and you're like, you're going in. Because with access, you basically, you walk down this, like, hallway through the convention center setup, and then there's, like, different sections. If you're VIP, you go in one section, and also, if you have VIP for just one person, you can meet only one person. Like, say, for example, Saturday afternoon, I have my Alexa Bliss VIP. Uh, but I want to get in the Roman Reigns line. They're going to look at me and go, sir, no, 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 no. They also dignify, they just also not dignify, they specify it out really well or spread it out really well in the sense of different VIPs have different wristbands. Say, for example, let's take into effect uh, Saturday. Um, for the 1 p.m. session. Roman Reigns can have a black wristband, Alexa Bliss can have purple, Finn Balor can have yellow, and Randy Orton can have red. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, so basically what they'll do is, so they know as well by the colors, if they have this, because they do, they, I, like, you don't have to show like, oh, like I'm a VIP at the thing. They're just going to assume like, yeah, you're cool. When you do get to the line to meet your VIP though, they are going to ask, hey, where is your wristband? You just got to show it. You get in line. You get your picture. Boom, you go. Um, and also, the other tip, if you do have a VIP this year for Actus, you've never done it before, make sure to tell the handler because there's – make sure you tell the person where you want the person to sign because I know last year, Matt Lorenzo, uh, when we met Sasha, like I told them, sign right here, sign right here, sign right there. Sasha, like her picture's like – her picture's like here. The signature's like up here. It like, doesn't look attractive. Like with my poster, I got lucky. Sasha signed right on her name – right on her like picture and it was great. Um, but yeah, so that's the one tip that's for the VIPs as well. And also the VIPs, if you have a VIP, don't go to your VIP right away. Unless you're like dying to meet the person. Ugh, I felt good. Um, 
Like for me, for example, with Thursday. Actually, good example Thursday. Why not? They, I got a Bill Gold. I got a Goldberg VIP. But guess what? Carmella announced today she's going to be appearing in Access. So what's my first mission of detail? I'm going to go to the Carmella line. Why? Because I like Carmella. They also don't really release, so it is a kind of a crapshoot or a roulette. That's where Access can get frustrating, where it's like, oh, you don't know where the person is. Like I remember last year, we were in the Snickers line for the Saturday morning session. And then we heard Sami Zayn's in Tapa, so we got on that line, ran over there, and then we met Sami Zayn instead. We ended up going back to Snickers and met Brizongo, so it was worth it. Yeah. And also, too, if you don't care about who you meet, go meet Apollo Crews in the DiGiorno line. Go meet Mojo Raleigh and Curtis Axel. Yeah, I got that right. Mojo Raleigh and Curtis Axel in Tap Out. Go meet Bo Dallas in the back, back corner at the Final Fantasy booth. Go meet Revival if you still got time to an NXT. Like, even, that's the thing. If you are going Friday night, it is probably going to be all NXT people. It was, it was great last year. I, I liked it, personally. Uh, I'm going again Friday night this year, so, yeah. I'll get more into who I want to meet in Access and stuff probably later on down the road, closer to the event, and also once the lineups come out. Um, yeah. So, uh, pretty much. And then also, too, you know how I said it to the Superstore earlier? Guess what way you go to get out of Access? You exit through the gift shop. So with exiting through the gift shop, you do one thing and one simple thing. You go, and it's WWE's way of saying, take my money. Or if you're Matt Lorenzo, you're going to go, I'm going to go buy an NWO spray paint belt. He did not do that, by the way, but if I got him to, I'd probably laugh. <sighs> huh, well, that was animated for you guys. Um, it is 27 days. I can't believe that. We're under 30 days to go until we leave for this trip. It's getting closer and closer. The fever's starting to hit me. <sighs> WrestleMania, baby. It's that time of the year. It's in the air. It's almost here. Um, also, too, for packing for Mania, too. If you want to buy your own toiletries at Walmart, be my guest. Uh, I like to bring some stuff from home. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait and see. That's uh, that's another topic for another day. I don't think I'm going to do a video about that. But I just feel like bringing it up. But anyway, I think in 22 of your precious minutes... So, with that being said, I want y'all to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe if you really like it, tell all your friends, uh, new videos coming up in the next few weeks, um, such as the rundown video, who I plan on meeting, and then the infamous, what am I bringing, and then the vlogs start. I'm going to try to get them uploaded as fast as I can when I'm in New Orleans, but if I not, don't do that, but then we always end the trip out with, I like the video I like doing the most, which is showing you guys what I spent my hard-earned cash on. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. Have a great Thursday night. It is March 8th. Um, I did this instead of fast lane predictions because uh, no one wants to know about that. But anyway, guys, I'll uh, maybe I'll review fast lane Sunday. You never know. See you later. And also, um, all the stuff towards said towards gold standard was just a joke. Hopefully, you didn't take it seriously. But on another note, um, subscribe to me and not Brandon Hodge.